Hey, hey, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's Dan here, your urban treasure hunter, and this is video number 10 in my mini series on uh, tips, tricks, and suggestions that help you with successful treasure hunting. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you some things that you can do to help you spot fakes from real treasure. There are a lot of valuable items out there to be had, but there are also a lot of fakes that try to pass themselves off as valuables. Obviously, if you're not able to tell one from the other, you're going to be putting yourself in a position of spending good money on junk. So stick with me in this short video, and I'm going to help you to determine the good stuff from the crapola. First of all, in one of my treasure hunts, I found this bag. It is a mid-century, I guess you'd call it briefcase or doctor's bag. It's all leather. It's got solid brass uh, fixtures. I thought it was pretty cool, so I decided I'd hold on to this bag for myself. And this bag is what I use to carry around my treasure hunting toolkit. Let's now dive into the bag, and I'll show you the parts of the toolkit. This is a bag I carry with me regularly whenever I go see a client or whenever I go on a treasure hunt to help me determine whether or not I'm dealing with good stuff or junk. First item I have here is a magnifying glass. This is a glass that I found in one of my storage units. It's a nice big glass, something I knew would, would be helpful to me, so I held on to it. But you don't need anything fancy. Here's a magnifying glass that I bought at a hardware store, I think for seven or eight bucks. But as long as you have a, a magnifying glass, because it's very important, this is not a piece of treasure. This is just some junky piece of metal thing. But a lot of times when you come across a piece of silver or gold, the hallmark or identification mark on those pieces are very, very small, oh, virtually impossible to discern with the naked eye. So, of course, the magnifying glass will help you to zoom in on hard to see um, hallmarks and, and, you know, markings. Next thing I carry is a simple magnet. <clears throat> a magnet is very useful to help you determine real precious metal from junk. This is a what looks like a rope, uh, gold rope chain. Uh, first uh, blush, it looks like an authentic uh, piece of gold, but put a magnet to it and you can see that it is in fact just a uh, worthless piece of metal because the magnet is uh, sticking to it. This is a real uh, 14 karat gold chain and charm. And when you put the magnet to this uh, charm or the chain, it does not stick because real gold it, uh, does not stick to a magnet. So carry a magnet with you, help you determine gold, silver, platinum, uh, other types of precious metals. And speaking of testing precious metals, this is a gold testing kit that I bought off of eBay. Um, it comes with various um, metal testing acids as well as a testing stone. I'm not going to explain to you how this kit works, but it's an absolute necessity for you to determine whether or not you're dealing with real gold, uh, real platinum, real silver, or a fake. I highly recommend this. Got it on eBay for, um, again, it couldn't be 15 bucks uh, with shipping. Very reasonable. Here is a jeweler's loop. This is an absolute necessity. If you, are, if you need to zoom in on uh, what you think might be a precious stone, uh, diamond, ruby, garnet, any, any type of precious stone, or even, again, uh, a lot of times a real chain will have a gold content marking on the clasp, and this jeweler's loop will help you to zoom in on that gold content marking. Again, it's a very useful item. This I got on eBay for 8 bucks, uh, which also included the shipping. Y you can't go wrong. And uh, even though the, uh, the jeweler's loop is very helpful to really zoom in on, um, on things, it, it gives you a 30 times magnification. Sometimes, believe it or not, that's still not enough to see intricate detail. So I also have this um, lighted microscope. Uh, this thing is really, really handy. Again, purchased off eBay uh, very in inexpensively. It's got a built-in light, and this enables you to zoom in 60 to 100 times. Very handy item. And then sometimes it's very helpful to, uh, to be able to hold something in both hands um, in order to examine it. And that's why I have this, I, I don't know what the hell you would call it, a headband or a visor that's got, uh, you know, the magnifying glass right on it so that you can hold things in your hand, hands, both hands, and, and uh, 
really help you to take a close look. Very handy item. I know it makes it looks a little silly when you're wearing it, but who gives a shit? We're talking about uh, treasure hunting and you know making a few dollars for ourselves. So who cares if we look silly wearing that thing? And then I also have this uh, scale, and uh, this is an item that again I got off of eBay. Very very handy item. Of course, if you are going to deal with somebody and their precious metals, silver, platinum, gold, whatever it might be, you need to know a how many carats. Uh, for example, the gold is, uh, plus what it weighs to help you determine what you could pay for it. Typically, what I do is after determining whether or not it's real gold and uh, it's, ca you know, whatever the carat um, uh, measurement is, I typically pay or offer 75 to 80 percent of current value uh, for the precious metals. And then also, I wanted to show you, this is uh, just a uh, basic cigarette lighter and a thumbtack. And what I do with these is if you're examining something and you're not too sure whether it's a real material, bone, ivory, stone, that kind of thing, versus just some, some cheap shit plastic, this will help you make that determination. All you need to do is heat up the tip of the thumbtack with a lighter, and if the hot tip of the thumbtack is makes a dimple in whatever it is you're uh, wondering about and that tells you that it's just cheap plastic if the heated tip of a thumbtack does not make a dimple then you're dealing with a real and far more potentially valuable uh, item these uh, these are all hel helpful items that you need to start uh, carrying with you when you go out on your treasure hunts um, so that's it for now. I think this video has gone on a little bit too long, but I wanted to offer you uh, some helpful uh, advice and information on successful treasure hunting here. And if you are interested in getting involved in treasure hunting, or maybe you're already out there in the field treasure hunting, I encourage you to go visit my blog where you can find lots of great free information on storage auctions and other forms of treasure hunting. And I also put together a Facebook fan page uh, that is a really nice growing community of fellow treasure hunters. I, I encourage you to go check that out also and my name is Dan I'm signing out for now and the information for for my blog and for Facebook are found right here on this next slide and I will talk to all you fine folks soon